here to talk about native plants and why it's important to think about them if you're managing noxious weeds. Native plants are generally thought of as those species that were here prior to European settlement. This means that these plants evolved to live here over thousands of years. They are an important part of the balance of nature where we live, and they are part of what makes Montana unique. Many of us are familiar with native plants as part of the beauty of our wild landscapes, but native plants are more than just pretty wildflowers. They play an important role in many parts of our lives. Montana native plants are important habitat for wildlife and livestock, providing food and shelter. In Montana, you can see herds of elk or a rancher's cattle grazing on native grasses or birds collecting thistledown to help build their nests. Native wildflowers provide pollen for honeybees, native bees, and other pollinators. A native plant community that is rich with a variety of different species provides flowers for pollinators during the entire growing season. Native plants even help to keep our soil and water healthy. They hold the soil in place, helping to keep our water clean. They have also evolved with the soil microbial community, making up part of the interconnected web of organisms below the soil surface. It's clear native plants are important in a variety of ways, but some native plants look very similar to noxious weeds. A noxious weed is a non-native plant that can negatively impact agriculture or native ecosystems. It is legally mandated for these weeds to be controlled. Sometimes native plants are mistaken for noxious weeds and accidentally killed during noxious weed control efforts. Correct identification of noxious weeds is critical to protect native plants from becoming collateral damage. Native plants can be mistaken for noxious weeds for a few reasons. First, some native plants just really look like weedy plants. Thistles are a great example. There are 10 thistles native to Montana that have a range of beneficial qualities to our landscapes and ecosystems. However, there are also non-native thistles that are state or county designated noxious weeds. These weedy thistles can have negative impacts on Montana agriculture and natural resources. Second, some native plants grow in areas where you might usually expect to see weeds. If you see a plant growing abundantly in your garden, your crop field, or along the side of the road or trail, you might assume it's a weed. But in many cases, it might be a native plant that has evolved to take advantage of these types of disturbed habitats. Accidentally removing native plants from plant communities might lead to more noxious weeds. When plants are removed from a plant community using herbicides, hand pulling, or some other control method, a void is left behind. If there isn't a native plant around to fill that void by re-sprouting or germinating from a seed, a weed might show up instead. And as we all know, noxious weeds are very good at showing up when the opportunity arises. Another reason a native plant might be suspected of being a noxious weed is that some are very showy and noticeable. If you see a plant suddenly appear in a new area that is five feet tall with masses of pink flowers, it might catch your eye and make you think, what's this new weed? But it might just be Rocky Mountain bee plant, a large Montana native plant that looks striking and might show up in a disturbed area like along the edge of a road. In spite of their positive attributes, Sometimes certain native plants can be weedy too. For example, some native plants increase over time because of how the land is managed. Overgrazing or a lack of wildfire can lead to an increase in some plants like sagebrush. This kind of change can decrease forage for livestock and even overall biodiversity. And some native plants are toxic, threatening livestock and wildlife. For example, death camas and loco weed. Usually the risks posed by native plants can be overcome through thoughtful land management. Native plants offer many benefits to Montana. Maintaining healthy plant communities is one of the best ways to prevent weed invasion. Accidentally killing native plants because we thought they were a noxious weed opens up space in the plant community for noxious weed invasion, thereby hurting the very thing we are trying to protect. Noxious weed control is hard enough. Let's make the most out of our time and energy by making sure we're targeting noxious weeds and not native plants. If you need help determining whether you have a native plant or a noxious weed, there are many resources available. Contact your local extension agent or your county weed district, and they can help you identify your plants. Check out the MSU Extension publication store that's online for more information about noxious weeds, including how to identify them. 
Additionally, check out the MSU Extension YouTube channel for more videos on Plant ID. I'm Jane Mangold. I'm Noelle Orloff. And I'm Chantel Frame Martin. Thanks for watching.